Cool. I, I, I was uh, looking through your, your YouTube channel before, uh, you know, when I knew that we were going to be having this interview. Uh, and uh, I saw there's some videos on there of uh, a Chinese dude and he's uh, chatting away and then you're uh, translating what, what he's uh -huh, saying. Uh -huh. So uh, yeah, that's uh, amazing to see, you know, that ability to, to, to speak and understand Chinese and put it into terms that possibly we can understand that maybe uh, isn't as accessible for, for people. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, this was one thing that I loved about um, my, my master, my teacher. When when I first came to him, he made these sort of lofty, airy, fairy notions in Taoism very, very accessible, very practical. Um, and I mean, I I am lucky because I. Um, I, I studied Chinese at university, but um, I, I, I come from a Chinese background, um, and so I'm able to sort of bridge maybe that gap between sort of the, the East and the West, and, and, um, and through the practice of Lisha, uh, I'm, I'm able to, to translate some of the concepts uh, from the Chinese to, to English, but also through, through the understanding of, of Taoism in practical terms. Cool. So, so we're, we're very fortunate to have that kind of uh, package and that that ability to, to to access this through through a native speaker. Yeah, but it's not just me. I'm not. I'm not the kind of the the, the bridge and the route to it. We're very, very, very fortunate to have such a system um, and access to to such a system in Leeds or in the UK.